Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a lizard. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. To the left, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. Place this circle lower than the first circle. Make this circle slightly smaller than the first circle. On the top right side, draw another circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. This circle should also be smaller than the first circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. On the right side of the head circle, draw a curved line as a guide for the muzzle. This line should be similar to an arc on its side. Draw a sloping line across the head. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Under the first circle, draw an angled line as a guide for the front leg. Bend the line at the top to indicate a joint and again at the bottom for the foot. To the right, draw a shorter line as a guide for the other front foot. Under the circle on the left, draw a long angled line as a guide for the hind leg. Bend the line at the top to indicate a joint and then again at the bottom for the foot. Connect the head to the body using sloping lines to create the guide for the neck. The shape of the neck should be wide. Connect the body circles using two long lines to finish the guide for the torso. The body should slope down on the left side. On the left side of the body, draw a long curved line as a guide for the tail. Curve the line so that it's under the body. Make this line long compared to the body. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Place the eye on top of the horizontal construction guide. Extend the sides of the shape and make them pointy for the corners of the eye. The eye should be pretty big in relation to the head. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. The shape of the eye should be similar to a football. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle of the eye, draw a small circle and shade it in for the pupil. Darken the initial circle for the eyeball. Draw a curved line above the eye for the eyelid. Draw a few more lines under the eye for wrinkles. Follow the shape of the eye as you draw these lines. Use the arc on the right as a guide to draw the muzzle. Darken the tip of the guide and then curve the line to the left to create the mouth. Extend the line for the mouth far to the left so that it's under the eye. Darken the bottom part of the guides to create the lower jaw. Inside the top jaw, draw a big dot with a circle around it for the nostril. Use the other shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the head. Darken the top part of the guides but curve the line inward to create the brow. The top part of the head should connect to the top part of the muzzle. 
darken the sloping lines for the neck. Add a few small lines for wrinkles. Draw a series of small triangular shapes along the neck for the spikes. Use the second line from the right that's under the body as a guide to draw the front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Keep the edges of the leg close to the guideline so that the overall shape is thin. Curve the shape of the leg around the path of the guideline. At the bottom, draw a few long thin shapes that point to the right for the toes. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Curve the lines to indicate the muscle structure. Add a few short lines near the joints for the creases on the skin. Make the tips of the toes pointy for the nails. Add a short toe on the left side using a small V-shaped line. Draw a couple more short toes at the top. Use the line on the right as a guide to draw the other front foot. Draw the shape of the foot around the guideline. On the right side, draw a series of long thin shapes for the toes. Make the toes pointy for the nails. Use the angled line on the left as a guide to draw the hind leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the hind leg slightly wider than the front leg. Add a few short lines near the joints for wrinkles. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Curve the shape of the leg around the guideline. At the bottom, draw long thin shapes for the toes. Make the toes for the hind foot longer than the toes for the front feet. Make the tips of the toes pointy for the nails. The toes in the back will be hidden behind the toes in the front so only draw the visible sections. Use the shapes in the middle as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Don't overlap the legs as you darken the body. Use the long curved line on the left as a guide to draw the tail. Lightly sketch the shape of the tail around the guideline. Make the base of the tail wide and then gradually make it thinner toward the tip. The line for the top edge of the tail will overlap the line for the bottom edge on the left side. Make the tip of the tail thin and pointy. If you have room on your paper, extend the shape of the tail to the left to make it easier to draw. When you get the shape of the tail right, darken the lines. Use wavy lines as you darken the top edge for the spikes on the tail. Continue to draw wavy lines along the back for more spikes. Curve the shape of the tail around the guideline. Make the tip of the tail thin and pointy. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines. It's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use a medium value to shade but leave a few sections blank to create stripes. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. 
For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Shade the edges of the eyes using a dark value and the iris using a medium value. Don't overlap the highlight circle as you shade the eye. Use squiggly lines as you shade to give the skin a scaly texture. Don't overthink this part, just draw squiggly lines all over the body. Add some shadows throughout the body using a darker value. You can add a few small curved lines on the head to emphasize the scales. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the lizard. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.